reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground, various wild animals and various birds of the air. And he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle all the birds of the air and all the wild animals, but none proved to be suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man. And while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up, it, up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up unto a woman the rib that had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, this one at last is bone on my bones and flesh on my flesh. This one shall be called woman. For out of her man, this one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife. And the two of them become one body. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you still a more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith, so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over, so that I may boast, but I do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude. It does not seek its own interest, It is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over injury, it does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. The word of the Lord. to be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, The winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. When Jesus finished these words, the crowds were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as their scribes. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated.
Jade and Jack, the gospel that you chose for this, your wedding, is very appropriate because it talks about the wise man who builds his, who builds his house on rock and the foolish who builds his house on sand. But it's important to recognize that what Jesus says was everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them. That's what's important. We can hear the words. You can say the words of your, the word, the vows that you're going to make. You can say them. But unless you act on them, they mean nothing. And the same is true with our faith. We can listen to the words of Jesus but if we don't act on those words, if we don't inculcate them into our lives, then we will not be able to follow Christ as we should. If you do not inculcate these vows into your lives, then you will be like the foolish who built their house on sand because you decided you were going to say your vows but not live them. And so it's important to recognize that not only it's, a, it's two parts. The first is your faith the foundation upon which their sacrament of marriage is built. And that solid foundation is Christ. But he doesn't do all the work. He asks you to do a few things also. It's important that you take the life that you are starting today and you build on that solid rock, that you recognize the footings that are around you that you recognize the family and friends who've nurtured and nourished you and brought you to this day and their example of love. And you take their example and bring it into your life. And then maybe those people that you knew some years ago or some people that you hung out with in high school or in college that are not so great for your life right now, you kind of like let them go off by the side because they will not help you in your life together that you have to discern from this point on your friendships. Are they going to be people that are going to help us in our marriage or not? And that's what happens when the contractor goes out to build his house. He has to discern what materials he's going to use so that, that it is built in the best way. And that's the analogy that what Jesus is trying to get across, not only for the Christian, but also especially as you chose it tonight, for the married couple. Because many people say the words, but they don't live them. Many people say those words that you are about to say, that I will love you and honor you in good times and in bad and sickness and in health till death do you part. Many people say those, but to them they're just words. They have to take meaning in your life. You have to be willing to take them within yourself and allow the grace of God that's why we've gathered here in this church, because you recognize that it is God who has brought you to this day. It is God who will continue to sustain you through his grace, through his transforming love. But it's not magic. You have to act. You have to respond to his love every day in your life. And as you respond to that love, you will be able to endure anything. You will be that house built on rock. Because all you have to do is ask your family and friends. They'll tell you there are good days and there are bad days in married life. There are days in which it seems that it's going to be very difficult. But through it all, it has been their love for each other and their love for God that has continued to strengthen them. And that is what will strengthen you as you live your sacrament of marriage.
Let us pray together the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and as we have forgiven those who trespass against us. And may we not be in heaven, but the rest of the kingdom. Amen. 